As I was getting ready to go to sleep, this was just announced and I just had to cover it. So this Chinese company called Sheng Shu just announced a Sora competitor. This is an AI video generator that claims to be on par with OpenAI's Sora. I'll play you their showreel and then we'll go into the details on what it can do and how you can apply to use it. Let's jump right in. Alright, so there's only a limited amount of info right now on this tool. This is an article from globaltimes.cn. They claim that it is on par with Sora, and they say that Vidu can generate a 16 second 180p video clip with one click. It's built on a self developed visual transformation model architecture called Universal Vision Transformer, or UVIT, integrating two text video AI models of the diffusion and the transformer. Merging the diffusion and the transformer is considered to be the next step in generative AI. We've all seen with stable diffusion version 1, version 2, there were several limitations. One is that it can't really generate text very well. Another is it doesn't really understand the context or it can't really follow more complicated prompts. And so stable diffusion is based on the diffusion model, which can only get so good. And people were thinking, well, what's the next step? How can we make this significantly better than what it is already. And one solution is actually merging a transformer model with the diffusion model. So think of this as like if Stable Diffusion and ChatGPT had a baby. The transformer model is based on this paper by Google DeepMind, Attention is All You Need, and this is the backbone behind LLMs that we know today, including GPT, Claude, and Llama. Now, the transformer model is really good at understanding context. And so in theory, if we combine the transformer model with the diffusion model, then the videos or images that this model generates should be more coherent and much more accurate. This guy, Zhu Jun, who is vice dean of the Institute of AI at Tsinghua University and chief scientist at Sheng Shu, he says that after the release of Sora, we found that it closely aligned with our technical roadmap, which further motivated us to advance our research with determination. They claim that the core technology of UVIT was firstly proposed by Vidu's research team in September 2022, earlier than Sora's model architecture of DIT, which is the world's first visual transformation model architecture combining the advantages of the diffusion and the transformer. So after watching the show reel, I would say it's really good. It definitely outcompetes all the video generators out there that we can use today. I would say the two best ones out there are Runway and Pika. But just looking at what Vidu showcased, and now this could be cherry-picked examples, but just from looking at this show reel, the results do seem to be noticeably better than Pika and Runway. However, I wouldn't say it's on par with OpenAI's Sora, which isn't released yet for us to use. So here are a few things that I noticed. First of all, it does generate hands very well. You can see this guy has five fingers on each hand. These hands also look quite normal. These hands also have five fingers. I can't point out any flaws with this. And overall, everything just looks really realistic. All right, this 
video is very similar to a video I saw from Sora. So let me play that for you really quickly. You can see Sora's result does seem to be higher quality and more realistic. Here are the two videos side by side, so you can compare for yourself. All right, this eye video, which is only shown for one or two seconds, Sora had a similar eye video. So here is Sora's video. And then now let me play you both of these side by side. Now here's where I start to see some flaws. So just in that video of this lady, you can see her hair is like this at the start, but then somehow it transforms into this red ribbon and then it flies out. So that's not really consistent and you don't see this inconsistency with Sora. All right, so there we have another flaw that I just kind of spotted. Notice this leaf dangling at the top right corner here. It just somehow disappears. Did you see that? So the green leaf at the top just disappeared. So it's not really consistent. And then this generation here, it says a wooden toy ship navigating on a carpet. So this blue stuff isn't water, it's carpet. Let me know if you think that this is a good representation of a carpet ocean. Now, I believe that video was made in direct comparison to this video from OpenAI, where the prompt is pirate ships, I believe, battling in a cup of coffee. So here are the two videos side by side. The prompts aren't exactly the same, but you let me know which one you think is better. Here's another intentional comparison to Sora. So this one is from Vidu, and this one is from Sora. And then here are the two side by side. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. And note that the source of this video showreel is from their WeChat page. And this video is only in 720p, so it's not full HD resolution. Whereas the Sora videos are in full HD. So you might notice that the details in these video videos aren't really crisp or sharp. That's because the resolution is a bit lower than Sora's videos, but in the Global Times article, it does say that Vidu can output 1080p. And then this video is obviously in direct comparison to Sora's Tokyo Lady video. I don't think she has a name, but from now on, she's just going to be called the Sora Lady. So here are the two side by side. Let me know which one you think is more realistic. All right, now the most important part of this video, how exactly do we use it? So if you Google Vidu AI, no, it's not this one, which is about breast cancer diagnosis. No, it's not this one, which generates AI personalized videos for your sales team. The website is actually shengshuai.com, which I'll link to in the description below. Now, let me just right click and translate this to English. And if you scroll all the way down to video generation, you can see this video is quite familiar, right? So here is where you can click to apply for use. Now, it doesn't specify the eligibility. It just asks you to leave your name, phone number, company name, and their marketing consultant will serve you. So I'm going to fill out this form and I'll let everyone know if someone actually gets back to me and if I can access it. And by the way, on the topic of China, they've been releasing some bangers in the AI space lately. So literally two days ago, this Chinese company, SenseTime, launched SenseNova 5.0, which according to their report, now do take this with a grain of salt, but according to their report, it beats GPT-4 Turbo on nearly all benchmarks. And if you go to this hugging face space called Chatbot Arena Leaderboard, this leaderboard is called LMSYS, where... Basically, it's a blind test, right? So users can go in and prompt to different chatbots, I assume. You don't know which chatbot is on the right, which one is on the left, and then users can rate it which chatbot they prefer, which chatbot gives the best answer. And from all these user blind tests, it turns out that GPT-4 Turbo is the best LLM out there, even above Claude 3 Opus, which is claimed to be pretty good. So we've had Tons of pretty good LLMs being released, like Claude 3 and Llama 3, but it turns out that OpenAI's GPT-4 is still the best. So, again, this LLM claims to beat 
GPT-4 Turbo on nearly all benchmarks, which is saying something. This other Chinese company called Astribot just unveiled their S1 robot as well. This occurred yesterday, and it has super fast speed. I'm actually planning to do a full video on this later. But basically, I just wanted to mention these two announcements from China as well as this VDU AI video generator because most of the attention seems to be on these tech giants in America, right? OpenAI, Google, Meta, Anthropic. And we don't really hear much from what other countries like India or China are doing. But, you know, the news from China in the past few days with this new LLM this new robot, and now this AI video generator is quite unusual, and it just shows you how other countries might not be far behind in this AI race. It's also great, and I'm really happy that Vidu is unveiled, because this just gives OpenAI more competition. When Sora was released, it just blew everyone's mind. There was, like, no clear competitors who even came close to what Sora could do. Like, Runway, Pika, they were leagues behind. But with this new AI video generator, Vidu, we might be seeing a close competitor. And I really love competition. Competition is always welcome. So that's a wrap. Let me know in the comments what you think of Vidu. Do you think it's on par or even better than Sora? Are you going to apply for access to this? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.